Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about battery replacement on your BMW. So I made this video two years and eight months ago, 32 minutes, believe it or not, just to change your battery and you know, 190K views, a lot of people are looking for this. But you know what? There is an easy way to do this if you play your cards right. That's what this video is about. Now by playing your cards right, what I mean is you get a battery of the exact same specification. Don't get an AGM battery when you have a lead acid. Don't change the amp hour rating. Make sure it has the same reserve capacity or amp hour rating and is completely identical to the battery that you're taking out. If you do that, you don't need to do any custom coding. All you need to do is register the new battery. And there's a very easy way to do that nowadays. So you may be wondering, why don't I just buy a battery with a longer warranty? Because they are very hard to get replaced under warranty from experience. I'd rather just buy one that has a two year warranty, relatively cheap and change it every two and a half years. So I always have good runtime. Very unlikely that a battery would fail one of their tests when they top it back up if it's about, let's say, three years old. Let's get in the trunk and remove the old battery. Always put a cloth over this because if you close your trunk, you won't be able to get back in. Starting with this brace, 10 mil. Ten mil on top of the negative battery terminal. Next up, ten mil on top of the positive terminal. On the side of the battery, there's also another hole down. It's ten mil, so I can get to the vent line. That looks a little harder than it would normally be, but I have extra wiring here for a secondary fuel pump. If you guys are wondering, this doesn't go anywhere. That's just used in transport. So this is technically the easy part. Now we gotta figure out how to register it. Let me show you an easy way. But I wanna verify with my laptop to make sure it gets done properly. But it's only for demonstration purposes. I'm loading up input to show you that this works as expected. Going to engine over here. Okay, so we're gonna go to F5 for PM IBS. And then F2 for PM field one. And because I've replaced my ECU, it doesn't actually record that information. It doesn't have that here, but I'm going to do it now. I'm not gonna use input to do it. I'm gonna show you an easy way. And then we'll verify that it took and registered here. So let's do that now. So if you have one of these K plus D can cables, you can use this. I'm gonna use my wireless adapter, my MHD wireless adapter. So now I'm loading up MHD flasher codes, read DME codes, we're connected. Now if I reset adaptations, I can register a battery right there. There you go, register battery was reset. That's easy as that if you have a car that's supported by MHD. Now we can easily verify if that worked as expected on NIMBA. Boom, last battery change at this many kilometers. 313600. And that's exactly where I'm at right now. Had I had my original ECU, I've upgraded to the MSD81 ECU, so it doesn't have my historical information here, which probably contributed to my battery not lasting as long as it could have. But as you can see, registered, just like that. So literally, you just put the battery in, grab your MHD app, and click Reset Adaptations, and battery register. Very easy, super simple. You don't even need a laptop. So this video assumes a couple things. You have one of these cables or a wireless adapter and you have an on-the-go adapter for your cell phone or tablet. It also assumes that you have a 335i, 135i, or 535i, etc. Something that's supported by MHD. Just to put it out there, this feature set or the functionality regarding resetting codes and all that doesn't require a license. So you could just download the app, 
buy a cable like this and you know you're you're gonna only have maybe twenty dollars into this whole situation you can register your battery easily and you know if you don't have a turbo car then you can do something like carly to keep it simple but you know rather than a 32 minute video explaining how to register a battery i figured i'd show you the very easy way if you play your cards right so if you don't have a 335 or a 135 etc and you don't find this video very helpful then check the description for my original video it goes into really great detail explaining how to change your battery type from agm to lead acid etc and also how to change the amp hour rating but hopefully you guys found this video useful or entertaining if this is the first video you're catching on mine consider subscribing i do upload regularly thanks for watching